Hey everyone, welcome to week six. Um, so I know some of you might still be finishing uh, some of the work from week five, um, and that's fine. Try to get that in as soon as you can because week six has begun. And so I'm gonna just quickly go over what is in store for us this week. Um, so first, of course, you need to take the week six attendance quiz. And once you do that, then you'll be able to see everything under the week six uh, module tab. Um, the first item you'll see under the attendance quiz is a brief review of week five. Then we have uh, one lesson, well, one big lesson with several mini lessons inside it. Uh, but this week we're going to start covering, um, we're going to review some grammar and mechanics. All right? So under the grammar and mechanics tab, you're going to see three sub tabs. The first is a handout that goes over some really useful words when it comes to um, reviewing the other grammar and mechanics lessons that we're going to go over this week and next week. Uh, it's just certain types of words, so coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, conjunctive adverbs, just a little refresher on what those, word, what those types of words are and how they function in a sentence. All right. Um, there's a handout and then a video that goes along with it. Underneath that, you'll see the first actual grammar and mechanics review, and it is on sentence fragments. So look over that handout. It, it explains what a sentence fragment is. It can show up in several different ways, and then there are, it shows you how to fix them. And then there's even some samples uh, at the bottom some sentences, some passages that have sentence fragments in them. And the idea is to look at those examples, see if you can figure out which, where the fragment is, and then kind of think to yourself, okay, how would I fix this? And then underneath all of the examples on that handout are the answers. <laughs> um, so you can kind of check your own understanding uh, as you go. Uh, and then after that, um, and of course there's a handout in the video, and then after that, you have the second lesson for this week, which is on run-on sentences and comma splices. So sentence fragments is a very common error in student writing. So you want to pay attention to that lesson. But this one right here on run-on sentences and comma splices is the most common error in student writing. So please look over that handout so that you understand what a run-on sentence is as well as what a comma splice is. A comma splice is a special type of run-on sentence, but because it's an error that happens so often, it kind of gets its own special little category, but it's still technically a run-on sentence. All right, so make sure that you go through that handout and watch the video that goes along with it. Uh, again, it's the most common error and a comma splice I think a lot of students know what a run-on sentence is. They've heard of it. They kind of remember learning about it. Um, it's a little easier for them to spot a run-on sentence. But many students do not realize what a comma splice is and that it is also an error, that it is also a type of run-on sentence. So please review that little handout and watch the video, okay? And that's it in terms of lessons this week. So our homework for week six is, of course, the journal six assignment. Make sure you watch the two videos that are in the instructions and then respond to the prompt. Um, it's due by Sunday at 1159. And then you have project part three, which is the rough draft of your research paper. There is a video in the instructions for project part three. Please watch the video so that you know exactly what's expected of you for the rough draft. There's also some information in those instructions uh, regarding the peer review that you're gonna do in week eight, okay? Um, so a lot of useful information in the instructions and the video for project part three. Project part three, you actually get two weeks to work on it. So it's being assigned here in week six, but it will be due with the week seven homework, right? So you get two weeks to work on it. And then um, the last item this week is, of course, the week six discussion. Try to have your first post up by Thursday night and then respond to two classmates before the discussion closes Sunday night at 1159. Okay. 
All right, so that's it for week six. If you have any questions or run into any problems with anything while you're going through the material, please reach out. Um, otherwise, you are free to go ahead and get started.